Now that we have the user form inserted and named, we're going to add four text boxes where people can enter the data. If we look back at the worksheet, we created a table with the fields for part ID, location, date, and quantity. And those are the text boxes that we're going to put on this form. So to add the first one, I'll go to the toolbox. These are the different types of controls that we can add. The text box control is this tool, the little A, B, and a line. I'll click that to activate the tool. And I'd like the left edge of that toolbox about here near the top center. So I'll click once and that puts a standard size text box on the form. If I look over in the properties window, I can see that that is text box one and you can see its name here again. We're going to rename that. So I'll double click where it says name that highlights the default name. And I'm going to call this T X T P A R T text part and press enter when I'm finished. Now I can see its name here in this drop down list and at the top of the properties window. To make it clear what should be entered in this text box, I'm going to add a label at the left. So I'll click on the user form and then the toolbox appears. The label is this capital A. So I'll click that to select it. I'll point to the left of that text box and click once to add a standard size label. It says label one, which is a default name. I can see its name here in the properties window, the name and further down is caption. We're going to leave the default name for this, but we'll change the caption, which is what's going to show on the form. So I'll double click the property for caption that selects the default name and I will type part and press enter. So that now shows part, but the name is still label one. We need three more text boxes and labels, and I could follow those same steps and create each one from scratch. But a quicker way to create additional text boxes and labels is to point on the user form and just drag over any portion of both the label and text box. And when you let go, it selects everything that was included in that rectangle. On the menu, I'll click edit and copy, or I could use control C as a shortcut. And then I'll click on the user form and go to edit, paste, or I could use control V. I want those up a little higher. So I'll point to the border of the text box and just drag it up so it's closer to the part. Then I'll click on the user form again and I'll use the control V shortcut to paste another one. So I'll drag that down a little bit, control V again and drag the fourth one down. So now I have four text boxes and four labels. The same way that we named this text box as TXT part, we're going to name the remaining text boxes. So I'll click the second one, double click the name property, and this one will be TXT LOC. That's where the location will go and press enter. Click on the third one, double click the name property. This will be TXT date and press enter. And the fourth one, double click the name, TXT, and this will be QTY. That's where the quantity will be stored and press enter. Now I just have to change the caption on these labels. So this one, I will change the caption to location and press enter. Click on part, double click the caption here. This will be date, press enter. And for the fourth one, Double click here and this will be quantity. So we've created and named four text boxes and created and changed the caption on four labels. And as a final step, I'm going to line things up. So you might have lined them up nicely when you moved them, but if not, I'm going to drag over at least part of each of the four text boxes. And when I let go, they're all selected. One of them will have white handles and the others will have black. I'm going to align them and they will line up with this text box that has the white handles. So go to the format menu, click align, and I'll line them up to the left. So there they are. And I'll do the same thing with the labels. Point down at the bottom, drag up over the four labels. They're all selected. They'll line up with this one format, align, lefts. So we have nicely aligned labels and text boxes and we're ready for the next step.